Hi, my name is Doug, and I'm going to be showing you a, two different systems for a self-emptying or auto-emptying dehumidifier. So, uh, I'll start first. I'll just pick up the camera here. Uh, we are in my garage slash workshop. Uh, if I just zoom around here. Yeah, so uh, lots of tools in here. Uh, lots of opportunities for rust. So that is why I have a dehumidifier in here. Uh, uh, this is central Connecticut, which is, gets like a rainforest. And uh, yeah, at least in the summer, and it gets very cold at night, so it's very easy for, for the water to condense on the metal. And yeah, if, if, if I don't have this dehumidifier right here, uh, yeah, things rust pretty readily. So how this works is, uh, th there's a link in the description for, uh, for this particular model. Um, this particular model has a digital kind of um, humidity setting to it, so you can set it to whatever, uh, yeah, whatever makes sense, which you sort of, you get a feel for. So you'll set it to 70, let it run for a while, then come back. It's like, okay, does it still feel? Does it still smell a little humid? All right, put it down to another five degrees. So I would just go by feel as far as getting the, the exact humidity uh, percentage. So this thing has a hose coming out the back, standard hose that you can get at your local hardware store. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a short one, so it has fasteners on both sides here. Uh, one side goes into the dehumidifier. The other one threads through uh, behind the garage door uh, rail, let's call it. Uh, and so even when the garage door is closed, there's, it's not a problem. And then the other end of the hose is just kind of flopping around there. Um, yeah, you have to be a little careful. You can see I cut through the weather stripping a bit because uh, otherwise the garage door can pinch the hose just a little bit, but it's not enough to stop the flow of water. Uh, so yeah, it, the water just flows right out the hose. Uh, I, I eventually have plans to hook it up somehow to this drainage pipe that I'm installing, but I mean overall it's it's been three years and it's yeah it's it's pretty inconspicuous and it's working worked well so far. Uh, yeah, so as far as powering this bad boy, um, you would think that's also a pretty obvious thing, uh, but I came up with a nice, pretty nice elegant system. So besides the fact that I don't have any uh, outlets on this side of the garage, um, there's another reason well, I've done things the way I have. So you can see the dehumidifier, this cable, it leads to an extension cord right here. And if we follow this extension cord, Da, 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 da. This is my garage door opener, and uh, we pick it back up. So the orange cable here that I'm shaking goes all the way across the ceiling, just with some hooks and uh, you know, drilled into the, the or some staples and hooks, and uh, turns into that white cable right here, and ends with a switch. A little switch again, little just a little thing picked up at the hardware store. So if I flip this switch, I think you just heard that beep, and boom. The dehumidifier just came on. So, of course, I don't need that switch. And, of course, if you just have an outlet nearby the dehumidifier, I mean, go for it. But um, something that you might consider is that it is kind of a pain. So, when you have the garage door open, you don't necessarily, you don't want the dehumidifier on because then it's dehumidifying the, the entire planet. Uh, if you, and alternatively, if the garage door is closed and the dehumidifier fires off, then oh, yeah, well, obviously you want it on. Uh, now, this is not just to save a walk. I mean, this is 10 feet. I'm not that lazy. It's just that the garage uh, floor, it, this is my workshop, so there's just scraps and dirt and crap everywhere, which means you have to put your shoes on, and then you, if your shoes are upstairs, then you have to go get them. And it's very easy to just see that the dehumidifier is on when the doors are open and be like, ah, you know, I'm going to close the door soon, no problem. Yeah, so. Just having this switch over here, it, it definitely will save you some electricity. <laughs> Trust me. I mean, we're 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 all lazy, aren't we? All right. Uh, so eventually, this this little wire. I mean, it, my garage is I, the outlets are totally nonsensical, but it, this is literally the closest outlet to to the dehumidifier. But anyway, yeah, that switch near the door, uh, yeah, comes in useful. So that is the first dehumidifier. Uh, system. Then, now we're going to take a walk down into my basement. And so this setup is a little more complicated. 
um, yeah, we're down in the basement, so there's no opportunity for gravity to do the work for us. And, uh, well, first I'll say the reason, you know, why do I have this dehumidifier right in the basement? I mean, it should be obvious, but this basement gets super moist without this dehumidifier. I, I don't even know how previous uh, owners uh, dealt with it. It's like, I, mean, it, uh, I don't know, it's like a, a cold sauna down here. <laughs> the pipes get a ton of, get so much condensation on them and drip that the entire carpet gets wet. Uh, it's... Yeah, uh, it's it's biblical down here. So, yeah, this is even more of a necessity than the garage, in my opinion. And uh, how this works basically is the uh, same kind of hose. I, I just cut it. So, uh, yeah, this hose is coming out the back and going into this pump. And again, uh, I'll put links in the description. This is a different model, as you can see. I, I would go with the garage model. It's more expensive. Uh, I, I don't, honestly, I think I got this, I, I forget, I, there's some reason I got a different model, but I would go with the garage model for, uh, yeah, even, for both, for both, if I had to go back in time. Um, the pump itself, uh, this is a workhorse, this is, uh, and uh, again, link in the description for that. You do need to buy a separate uh, vinyl tube to, uh, to, to attach to the pump, which is attached by a... Uh, you can see that a pipe clamp. Uh, yeah, and then as far as threading it through the window, I mean, you're on your own. <laughs> In my particular case, the, the the existing glass window here was shattered, <laughs> duct tape all over it, rusty, dead bugs. I mean, just nasty, not really even a window anymore. So I just blasted it out with a sledgehammer and replaced it with kind of a, a placeholder window. I, you know, I don't know, I'll just leave it. There's so many home projects, so I just kind of, this is an acrylic piece of plastic with some uh, pipe insulation around it. Does the job. Uh, yeah, so I can drill, I drill the hole through that. And then, uh, you yeah, behind there, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, you don't have to go into detail about that. One way or another, you're going to have to figure out how to thread that vinyl tube through whatever opening you have in your basement. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I want to babble on. I'm trying to think, but... I think that's about it. Um, let me get this camera back here. Yeah, those are the two systems that I've come up with. One thing I don't like about it is the buzzing and the humming. But I, I honestly, I've, I've thought about this for a long time. I don't know how you can do it with uh, uh, without some kind of mechanical device. Uh, I've I've seen people use like some buckets of salt somehow to like passively dehumidify, but I don't think it would be enough, at least for the for the basement. So if you have any other ideas, I'd be glad to hear them. But that, so far, that's the only negative for me is the buzzing and humming. Uh, other than that, I hope this gave you some ideas for how to dehumidify your home. And uh, if you like the well, please like the video whether you liked it or not, and also please subscribe whether you want more videos or not. Uh, thank you. Later.